hi and uh, welcome to my channel um, I haven't posted a video recently mainly there's, there's, there's bad weather and you know sometimes life just interferes what I've got to do is I've got to connect this tank up so I can move fuel from this tank to my main tank So that is a rooftop mounted air conditioner for which I paid $30 and then $200 to get it trans to get it shipped here from Victoria. So $230 for an aircon system and I think all this thing needs is the the actual air compressor that that you mount inside the engine with a with a fan belt. And I think it works. I've got no idea. It's a very simple thing. So it should be easy to fix when the time comes. I will get somebody that knows their stuff to install it and service it and then my track will have aircon. Is I have to install this thing in my fuel tank which is called a fuel sender and what it does it's basically it sits in here and when you put fuel in this is a little floater and then it floats up on the fuel and then that tells you how much fuel you've got in your tank and then this gets connected to a, a, a dial on my dashboard that I'm going to install there and then it tells me exactly how much fuel I've got. Then the other thing I've got to install is this thing which is a, um, a fuel tank breather. So you put it in, it lets the gases go in and out so that um, when it's a hot day, gases expand, it can go out. When it gets cold, it'll go in and gas can, you know, air can go back in. But if the track rolls over, this thing then blocks the fuel from running out. So I've got to install that. This is basically my pickup. So this is the thing that sucks the fuel out of this tank and takes it to my other tank. And then attached to it is this pipe that goes on there that sits in the tank, it sucks up the fuel. And then underneath here, it has a little filter to stop impurities and rubbish from getting in here. <sighs> That goes in there. In theory, it should have a little thing that just click in, but I don't have that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll holes. One, two, three, four, five holes. Put those um, rib nut things in, and then just bolt it in. Okay, that's not gonna work. The hole is too big. See, so there's no spot that I can have this where all the holes have got space to be drilled through. So what I could do is I could um, cut a bigger hole here and then cut out of this one that's bigger, mount this on here and then mount this plate back on there. You killed the crowd in my head with the naysayers day. So what's happened is, I haven't done a video for a while, been a little bit depressed, having problems with my daughter, but I think I've solved it. So today I'm happy and uh, so I'm carrying on. Meet me in the honey of ourselves, we won in a It is cold. I made a giant, giant mistake. I drilled those holes too big. I went online and I read up on, on what I should do. And this is what I said I should do and they lied. Those holes are too big, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, I think that is, that, I think that just works. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that freaked me out. That really, that works actually. Ha! Whew. Disregard the previous bit about not believing people on YouTube. <laughs>
that's actually really interesting. It, um, when you when you squeeze this, it squeezes and squeezes, and then it just locks, and you and it actually you you, you can actually feel when it's done. Now I've got to finish this, so I'm gonna draw my holes. So these I need to draw exactly the size of the bolts that I'm putting in here, and then I'm gonna make a a rubber. Um, what do you call it? Washer or whatever. I don't have one of those saws, round circle saws, and I don't want to go and get one now. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use a um, um, a saw, you know, the figure saw. I don't know what else to call it. The reciprocal saw. Anyway, I'm going to cut that out like that. This one goes in there. So there, and then the air breather goes in there, and then it just everything bolts down like that. That is actually a perfect fit, and it works. Everything works. And there's my full cut. I think that's perfect. And then that's clear to move up and down. Oh, that thing is a bit long. Anyway, it doesn't have to be all that accurate. Good enough. Go. Done. Hi, thanks for watching my video. Please press the subscribe button underneath and next to it, that little bell that appears. So next time I put a video up, it'll remind you. And then give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And thanks for watching. Oh, underneath, if you want to buy me a coffee, go to my Patreon account. And uh, yeah, buy me a coffee. See you.